Oh yeah. This looks extremely safe. <laughs> But all right guys, as you can see, we got the red 350Z completely stripped. I'm gonna to go to the backyard and grab the car trailer and we'll get the shell loaded up. Hoping somebody will want to buy that thing. You know, just because it, you know, it has a title and everything, so. But I need it out of my way. So, it's crazy hot. If anyone knows of a, like a cool area, where there's like a lot of car stuff going on and it's not like 105 degree normal temperature. God, this truck is so raggedy. The door keeps coming open. <laughs> yeah, if anyone knows like a nice cool area that has like a good car scene that's not like dumb hot with high humidity, please let me know. This is ridiculous. It's not even late that, that late in the afternoon either. It's like 12 o'clock and it's like you can't even walk outside. It's just like instant suffering. South Carolina blows. If you live anywhere else and you move to South Carolina, you're a crazy person. It's the worst place in the world. trailer hooked up and then we'll back up under that thing and uh hopefully get this thing out of the yard Ugh. my backyard is so rutted it's, it's insane all right, all right guys well, like i said that was easy but went a little smoother than i thought surprisingly these shells don't weigh that much i mean there's like nothing on this thing at all so yeah the strap hanging from the tree that pulled the engine still hanging in there last i just kind of used that to back the car up a little bit and then i just backed the trailer up under the car and i used the jack to help it to help it roll on the trailer um we'll back up under a little bit more and get it you know on the trailer a little better <laughs> but it's working so that's all that matters to me so i get this thing out of the way which i'm gonna show you guys my 350z in just a second so stick around Let's see how this works. Really wish I had like a cameraman or something. Alright, as you can see we got some scrap in the back. We stop right there. I don't want to scratch the floor because this isn't my trailer, it's my buddies. So this is what I'm talking about like now that it's up. I'll grab the floor jack. When I jack it up, it'll roll right back on there. All right. I've sit you down for just a sec. Well, maybe I can do it. My Harbor Freight jack is like the 3,000 ton one. It's heavy. Rashling it up there, my one handed.
inflammatory, but it helps. Okay, sweet. Yeah, guys, this is the bare shell. There's nothing in this old girl. Kind of see the damage right here. You don't really get a reference of how far that's pushed over. Like it's all buckled on the firewall, like right here. This whole side of the car has been squished in pretty bad, so. There was no saving this old girl. I sat through the dash back in here just so the VIN number, all the VIN numbers would match. Or so you know they'd have the VIN number. If someone's gonna try to save this old shell or not. So, it's more work than I'd be willing to put into it. You can kinda see right there, it's, uh, it's boogered up pretty good. Little crease right there. I hate the way my truck sounds. I need to get this freaking strap down. That song gun is on there. I know you guys can't see it, but. All right, let's go ahead and take it to the backyard. Then I'll show you my Z, which is looking. I just have to slam my door because this is an old raggedy truck. Now if that strap don't get hooked on something and try to pull the car back off. Oh, it's okay. It was trying to, but it, it hopped over. Oh, I'm gonna run my sign over. Barely missed it. Barely missed it. <laughs> my driveway sucks. I don't know if you guys have been following like the yellow freight situation and stuff, but that's where I work. So, and as of Sunday, I'm not working there anymore, so, which no one is. So, thank you, Yellow Freight. Ah. Squeak on water. <laughs> yeah, so I figured I would use my downtime, um, not only to look for a new job, but to get some of the cars moved around and get some stuff done. So, I've been been working pretty hard on it these last couple weeks anyway so I did not realize how many parts are in a, a car like I've rebuilt shells you know you bought a car like it's a bare shell you know take the time and like paint it and put a dash in it kind of race car like my white RX-7 is but I've never put like full interior back in a car before and let me tell you guys there's a lot of parts in a 350Z interior. Way more than I thought. So it was a lot of work. But I'm glad I got it done. That shit, my car, I mean, it looks awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. It's coming together pretty good. It might be time for me to get a shop or something. Just gonna leave my truck back here hooked up. Yeah, I got some scrap to haul off. Some more parts of the car. We'll get to that later. But look at that. That worked out pretty good. This thing isn't as heavy as I thought it was going to be. So, I'm surprised. Just like I pick it up. One hand. Ugh. So, yeah, it's pretty light. We got the other Aztec sitting back here. Got another part 350Z, the old 15 SC300, which is a car I'd like to reshell. This shell's actually kind of nice. Maybe I can buy one that's been crashed and uh, do the same thing what I did with my 350Z, switch all the parts over. FC RX7, which who cares? The uh, first 350Z for parts for my 350Z. <laughs> so. This isn't the first time I've done this this car. It will be the last. <clears throat> I've definitely learned my lesson. If you have a running driving car, don't take it apart. Just, just leave it alone. Leave it running and driving. So, no need to make more work for yourself. All right. 
I gotta get the cover off this thing. Now that it's all purdy and stuff and full interior, I wanna keep it covered so it stays nice. Give you guys a little sneak peek. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Give me one second, I got this thing uncovered. But yeah, I gotta get, look at this. Just, just, just junk, junk, junk everywhere, junk. So yeah, I'm gonna use my free time wisely and try to get some of this stuff straightened out. But okay, let me get this thing uncovered real quick. Cause we gotta set it on the ground and put the engine in. So maybe I'll do that in this video as well, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, that's me rambling. Let me get this done real quick. Yeah, I didn't uncover the whole thing. Um, like I said, you get to see the engine bay when I put the engine in, which is sitting under all that junk. But we got the interior all in this thing. Um, trying to make something to kind of fill this gap right here so I can put my carpet and it'll lay flat. Um, just trying to make something a little bit nicer. But yeah, the interior has turned out really, really good. Of course, all this stuff has been cleaned and put back in there. Um, it's like, I don't want to put the the center right there in until I get the engine in because I got the shifter in so it don't make much sense. Same way with this so I can hook the wiring up for the engine. So look at that thing man. Sweet. Yeah you know, like I so said right now don't really have any money to spend so um we'll put it together as you know as much as I can. Like I so said I gotta get someone out here to uh install the quarter glass and replace the front windshield. So that's gonna have to wait. I can't take a chance on spending unnecessary money right now at the moment. <laughs> but like I said, we're still a lot of stuff we can do. We get the engine in this thing, um, get the exhaust and everything hooked up, uh, fire it up so you guys can hear it run. Look at this. Pretty much the only thing I changed on the interior was like, of course, you know, my chassis had a handbrake. So, you know, I cut the hole and everything for that. It does fit. Um, like I said, there's just no sense putting it in yet. And the uh, cruise control switch was like down here. I'm sure the person's had the car tuned and it's got like some kind of like stupid crackle popple tune and all that dumb stuff. But when I take the car to get tuned, I'm probably just gonna get them to do away with that. I just want like a safe tune so the car don't blow up when I'm drifting and just use this as what it's supposed to be, which is my cruise control. Cause you know, I like to go on big road trips. So, and cruise control is, it's nice on a big road trip. So yeah. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Like I said, I got some stuff I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna sell my old truck. I'm gonna sell the uh, the FC RX7 that I picked up. I don't even know if you guys have seen it, but I picked up a GTU uh, 99. It's like black, black interior. It's a pretty clean car. I just won't mind keeping it, but I got it just to resell it. Like I said, with two FD RX7s, I really don't care to have an FC. Not that there's anything wrong with FCs. I just, I've had a lot of them, so I don't really care to have one. I don't need to LS swap another one. Make everybody hate me. So, <laughs> yeah. Just a quick rundown on the information on this thing. Like I said, this was a DE car that that it blew up around like 160,000 miles. Some guy parted it out. I bought the shell and the parts that were left on it. Picked up that red DE car. Switched everything off it to this shell, which made it a really clean, nice DE 350Z. It was just very ugly. It was like four different colors. Well, it was Four different shades of white. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen the video. I drove it for a while, loved the car, the AC quit working, and I was like, this is stupid. So I ended up LS swapping it and it was like gutted interior and you know it just wasn't gonna be something fun to drive every day. And that's not what I want. Like I keep telling everybody, I'd rather be on the track in a street car than on the street in a track car. So I backed out on the LS stuff sold it off i uh, kept the engine and transmission for another project <laughs> but i sold all the swap stuff bought that hr that 08 that we just took the backyard the red one and just basically switched everything off that chassis onto my chassis after giving it a nice you know single stage paint job which you know it's getting dirty sitting out here which is not perfect but it's it's good for painting like under an awning you know like this with just plastic draped up so of course I enclosed both ends and just sprayed this. But if you guys want to subscribe and stuff like that, I'm gonna not have a little more free time. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys how I painted because I still have to paint the uh, the doors, the hood, the bumpers, the fenders, the side skirts. So still gotta do all that stuff. But like I said, we'll just have to see. 
but I do have the paint and stuff, so we're gonna get that stuff painted. So if you're interested in that, I'll show you the process, what I used, what the my paint booth looked like. I'm gonna get the doors painted, get them get them hung on the car, get all the stuff. So yeah, I'm not saying this was worth it, but just for me, um, you know, it worked. So I think you can get a pretty decent deal on HR cars these days. But I guess I will show you the engine base. Cause I'm kind of I'm happy to show you the whole car. I'm glad it's coming back together. Cause I'm sorry, I really was bummed that I took this thing apart. I actually like this car a lot. Hold on one sec. But all right, here's the engine bay. We got everything in here. All right, so this thing is painted top bottom. Flip you under. If you guys can see every little part was painted. Yeah. It did the wheel arches in black just because it's what if factor done it. Got 370Z brakes on there, which I would never have bought, but they were on that car, so why not? I'm gonna take this wheel and see if I can get somebody to fix it. That's a it's from the accident where the guy ran into the wall and he like just scraped the corner of it off. <laughs> but that's I really don't care. That's not really gonna hurt the wheel that much, in my opinion, so. I think, I don't know if I showed you guys, but we got the FDF rack relocation kit done. So I opted to just extend my factory steering shaft instead of buying the little adapter, which worked out good for me. I just cut it up here and just welded a little extra to it. So yeah, doing this, I learned a lot. I didn't realize there was that much of a difference between the DE cars and the HR cars. It's they're totally different because every time i had to use a part off a de chassis that was damaged on the accident or the crash car it was an issue like i used my dash bar and my dash pad which the dash pad wasn't a big deal but the dash bar is different so if you're going to use de interior parts uh, i mean you get that wouldn't have hurt you could have done it but i just want it i don't want it to be like a de car with an hr engine i want it to be like an hr car like i want you to walk up to this thing and be like Ooh, it's an HR. I'll be like, hmm, kind of. <laughs> yeah, like all this stuff right here, it's like where it bolts to it is different. So I'm going to have to like make a little brace to go up under there to hold that down. So, but yeah, even the fuses are different. Like I said, the fuse panel on my car or on the crash car, the HR 08, um, it got damaged in the accident from where all this got pushed over and crushed it. So I did like a little hybrid. So I think the internals are different. I think um, the HR has like some stuff that's not active on the DE fuse box, or at least it wasn't on mine, I don't know. So I just basically switched all the internals out of the HR one to the DE housing, and I'm using like the DE fuses, and it works, so. Um, yeah, the wiring harness, everything is out in the front, that's on this car now, is out of that 08, so. Yeah, even, even like in the, for the, like, the, um, the fuel line, because like I cut all this out with the, with the LS swap because I ran the fuel line behind the firewall and everything. But yeah, like I said, there's like another little bracket that's supposed to go right here that I don't have the holes for. Now this is the original one, but I had to like put a rib nut for this one and I put a rib nut for that one to just basically hold the fuel line up. So yeah, I mean, not that that's going to hurt not having that, but just got to be careful you don't damage it putting the uh, putting the engine in so and some stuff over here like for the for the power steering reservoir and like this ground i think it's supposed to be like up here but it's not threaded on the de chassis so i just stretched it down a little bit and opened up this banjo whatever you want to call it and just put it right there with that little brace so i got like a fact like a little temporary ground because i'm not going to use the little the little bitty ground up here to make my own make something a little bit more sturdy so all right guys i guess that's it for this video um in the next video we'll get this thing dropped on the ground and uh get it pushed back which i gotta move this other 350z but anyway in the next video we'll get this thing down the ground and um get the engine in it and we should get the fired up because i mean it's just i mean if you've never worked on 350z these are the easiest cars i've ever worked on in my life they just they um they're really, really easy to work on. So that's the only reason I like them really. But anyway, 
enough of me talking about some nonsense that don't even matter <laughs> yeah if you guys want to stick around next video like so we're gonna get the engine in this thing get it everything all hooked up and just test fire it make sure that you know the fuel system and all that stuff works and um i said maybe the video after that we'll start painting well no video after that we're gonna be working on the cobra so let me go ahead and show you guys that if i haven't like i said remember I picked up this white this white cobra transmission issue turns out transmission and head gasket issue so it's been sitting for a long time but i found that crashed 2000 cobra we're gonna pull the engine transmission out of that drop it into that so that's what we'll be doing and the next well the video after the next video because we're gonna get the engine and the 350z in the next video <laughs> nothing but chaos around here guys but all right appreciate you guys for watching i'm gonna go take a break and edit this video sit in some ac and drink some sweet tea and uh we'll see you on the next one which will probably be like in a couple of hours when it cools down and i'm gonna put the engine in three for today <laughs> but all right guys we'll see you Ooh, that breeze feels so good oh my goodness Whew. keep that coming I'm telling you guys it's stupid hot in south carolina don't come to south carolina I'm telling you, just don't do it it's too hot <laughs>